that drier air though, that is gonna be our weather for the second half of Sunday. Because the system is so slow to move out, we're still gonna have some waves of energy moving along it. So that's the reason why we've got more rain in store for us by early tomorrow morning. You'll see it across the area. Maybe a thunderstorm here or there, but the severity of that not looking all that impressive. And then by 10 o'clock, we're seeing breaks in the uh, activity in areas right around Culpeper Orange. You'll be out of the woods, so you'll enjoy the rest of your afternoon as sun begins to break through. Still underneath the clouds for Richmond and underneath the rain for the Tidewater area. But by 5 o'clock tomorrow, we'll be drying out. So you at least have about three and a half hours of daylight with some nice weather across the area. Notice these temperatures though, upper 60s to low 70s will fall off into the upper 60s for tonight. So that's going to be the overnight low, kind of where we are right now. Then tomorrow, only in the 70s for the daytime high, 77 degrees as cooler, drier air moves into our area, but that is also short lived. Your hour by hour lunchtime 72, decreasing rain chances. Very limited though, I'd say past that five o'clock hour. So here's the next three days to a seven day forecast. You'll notice 87 on Monday, 94 on Tuesday, and then we're back in the 80s for Thursday, Friday with a little bit more wet weather returning to the area but otherwise drying out for Monday and Tuesday. That's check of your forecast.